Hmm. So these are some really, really hard questions. Um, what I've done to memorize this question for my PMP exam is this. Let's look at it. Let's write them down. So the first thing I did was um, I learned uh, column by column. So if you were to take these lines, take these lines, um, the first thing I did was I um, I learned one, first column, second column, and things like that. So, so let's see if I can recreate this. Um, first thing I did was my first column, I'm going to write them down. B, E, C, S, C, S, E, E, V, tap. Second thing what I do is second column. So I'm going to put the uh, uh, last of the word. So it's going to be A, C, V, 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 P, I. I'm going to go here A, C, T, C. AC again, but CPI now, and then CV. Okay, and then uh, in the meantime, what I do is I, I look at the word AC, and I kind of keep looking all the way up, and that's how I uh, check to see if there's another way to memorize this. Uh, so a combination of first column, second column, and uh, knowing the symmetry of his words, also check that we got v v v pi pi pi. So many ways to keep things um, in check as I complete the first um, first part of the equation. So b a c e v c v c s v c p i s p i e a c a t c v a c t c p i a c n v p v. So next part what we do is I'm going to write the equation. So this is very, very simple. So I'm going to take this PV and go summation of PV, and that's my first equation. Um, so then I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to take um, CV and SV, and I'm just going to put them down here, CV and SV, okay? Part of the equation is done. And then I'm going to put CPI and SPI, CPI, SPI, from here and then subtract one and this is now done the last two last two equations are done first equation is done now middle part uh, CV SV CPI SPI so these four equations um, one way to learn is what I did was I did evac and EVPV evac and EVPV the last two are the division signs the first two subtractions and now we're done with these four equations <clears throat> now that we have done um, one two three four five six seven I'm gonna try to fill out the uh, remaining ones um, TCPI if you look at the symmetry between this one and this one you can tell that EV and AC will be pres present uh, to some capacity so I'm going to go A, V, A, C. And there are actually two uh, formulas on that one. So I'm going to have the second one, but put E, V, and A, C at the top and the bottom. Um, and then I'm going to take B, A, C, B, A, C, B, A, C, B, A, C. Actually, all of them except for the last one, I'm going to call it E, A, C. E, A, C. Okay? Um, now, I'm going to take uh, BAC and EAC and make another equation out of it, which is BAC minus EAC. ETC, I'm going to take um, EAC and AC right from right here and put them right here, EAC minus AC. EAC, what I'm going to do then is, <clears throat> these two are the hardest equations. Well, not the hardest, but they don't uh, quite follow some of the other uh, quick learning technique. Um, EV, what I'm going to then, then do is I'm going to take percent complete times BAC. So I'm going to try to relate that to that previous equation. Same here. <clears throat> EAC, I'm going to try to, now that I wrote this down, I'm going to try to um, take the AC divided by percent completion. 
right there, right there, you know, person complete, person complete, AC, AC. So that happens to be uh, the equation for that. And then um, EAC is also BAC divided by um, CPI, right there. So uh, the idea here is that, you know, do the quick approach first to see what you can memorize. And then leave these two equations. For me, they happen to be the uh, more critical ones that didn't, do not really follow a rhyme um, that I was trying to look for. So I, you know, kept them for the last. So th hopefully that helps. So that's how I do my stuff.